Smith Drive is one of Brisbane's busiest corridors, but it's not just carrying cars. Deep underground lies our S1 main sewer, and it's carrying more than half of the city's sewage. That's 60 Olympic-sized swimming pools every day. The S1 is Brisbane's oldest and largest sewer pipe. In fact, it's more than 100 years old and spans up to 1.5 metres in diameter. Over the last century, the S1 has served our city well, but now it's undergoing a multi-million dollar upgrade. By day, it's hard to tell, but by night, the construction site comes alive. Using the latest trenchless technology, workers descend up to eight storeys below the road surface to reline the old concrete pipe. In a technique called spiral winding, a polyethylene coil is fed down the manhole and wound into the sewer in one continuous piece. It's a delicate job as the new lining needs to be carefully guided into place. Further up the road, the grouting team is hard at work. Large bags of cement are moved by forklifts before being emptied into a mixer and blended with water. The grout is then sent down the manhole and injected between the lining and the old pipe to secure it in place. The process will be repeated along a six kilometre length of the S1 main sewer from James Street in Fortitude Valley all the way to the Eagle Farm pump station. That's 40 sections of pipe, manhole to manhole, the work all carried out underground while traffic flows above. It's a far cry from when the sewer was first built a century ago. Miners dug the tunnel by hand using dynamite to blast through rock with little concern for workplace health and safety. Our workers are a lot safer these days and there's no open trenching, but this upgrade is still a feat of engineering. We're dealing with a huge pipe, 20 metres underground, below one of the busiest roads in Brisbane. This makes the S1 main sewer upgrade one of the most unique and challenging sewer projects ever undertaken in Australia.